Hey guys, I'm back with another tutorial. Today we're going to be doing uh, a aiming system or lock-on aiming system uh, like Rayman 2. So, let's get started. I want to open up third-person character. This is the uh, third-person example project. No need to create a whole new player for this. <coughs> um, let's quickly go create an input binding for lock on. I'm going to call it aiming. Alright, inside of here we're going to actually want to create two events to make it a bit cleaner. We're going to call this event trace for aim. Uh, yeah, let's just call it trace for targets. Speaking of which, we're going to need to go back into project settings and go into collision and new trace channel we're just going to call this target and default response will be ignore so not everything gets traced automatically all right now so here we're going to want to do set timer by function name and we're going to just copy and paste this uh events name into here I'm going to do 0 0.01, so it's smooth looping, and we're going to do pause, oops, pause timer by function. And we're just going to paste that in there. Uh, let's set up the uh, couple other things we're going to need. We're going to need another event. This is going to be moved way under the uh, trace for. Now it's going to be here. Um, this will be look at target. We can just copy and paste these. Alright. And copy this name real quick or type it in if you want. Uh faster. Alright, now that we got that, we're actually gonna go into the character movement we're gonna use. We're gonna type in um orient rotation to movement. We're gonna set that to false here. Then we're also gonna to want to Take the uh, camera boom and do use on rotation on control rotation and set that to false as well. Now that we've got that, we can set these back to true. All right. Now that we have that set up, we can actually set up this stuff. Uh, well, Move that way down here. Now we're gonna want to create. I want to create two arrays. This will be target array. Just gonna call it targets. And we're gonna set this to actors. And in this uh, variable thing, we're gonna select the array. All right. Now that we have that, we can actually do this. Because we don't want the uh, same stuff being added over and over. Because this will be going uh, every 0 0.01 second. Anyway, now we want to create a. Um, I want to create a target distances, and this will be a float. I want to clear that too. Okay, now that we got both of those, uh, make sure you save every once in a while. Um, I want to do a multi sphere trace by channel, and we're just going to let this start at the uh, actor location for both start and end, and the radius will make it something high like 400. Uh, trace target will be or trace channel will be target and let's draw this while we're doing it now inside here we're going to do a for each loop uh, inside that we're going to want to break this and then we're going to
add stacker. Oops. I think we can use distance. I use something else in my. I use something else in my uh, big test project. So we're gonna first test this. Then if it doesn't work as it should, I'm just going to uh, attempt something different. All right. Now that we got that going, that's. All this is right now is it's tracing for targets. I can actually quickly test it out. Let's place a cube down here. Uh, set to collision presets to custom and block target. Kind of like thing inside that, but um, all things not. I may have. Oh, that's why. I completely forgot to uh, even assign a button to that. Okay, now that we have a button assigned to it, it should be. Yep. You see, it's uh, getting that object and only that object. So that's good. All right. Now that we got that, we're going to want to go down here. Hold on. Um, be right back. All right. I, uh, I almost forgot something. Um, we're going to want to get, um, I want to pull this out and do min of float. Which will get the uh, smallest value, and the smallest value should correlate with uh, should correlate with this. So let's get a copy. Plug this index into here, and this will be our closest target that we will start looking at. All right. Now that we have that set up, uh, we can move this closer and we can get to work. So we're going to want to grab closest target and we're going to want to grab our actor location. So type in get actor location, get that out, and we're going to want to do look or find look at rotation. This will be our start. Our target will be this, which will get actor rotation again. I just said rotation. Oops. My mind's a whack right now. Uh, get actor location. Set its target. Now we're gonna want to. Now we're gonna want to do get actor rotation. All right. Now that we got that, we're gonna want to do R insert two, so we can smoothly rotate. And define our um, own speeds. Uh, I'm gonna promote this to a variable, but we're gonna set that in event tick. All right now that we got that, we're gonna set actor rotation, and that should be it. Pretty small event, but uh, now that we got those going, quickly. Or interp speed to something like seven so we can see it interp. And we're just going to quickly pull out a tick event uh, and just set it in here. Right. Obviously, it's going to work with one object. Um, oh, yeah, hold on. One more thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take this. Since it's constantly uh, getting rid of references and refreshing them, we're going to want to check if it's valid on that particular frame. 
so now we won't get any of those uh, error pop-ups. Oh, one more thing. Forget about this every single time. We're gonna wanna create a. Uh, we're gonna wanna break these rotators. I wanna do it a little more cleaner, so I'm gonna split the structure pins on them. And this one I'll break. Okay, we only want him to rotate on his Z axes for a reason, obviously. And then the rest will just be this. All right, cool. So it works on one target, but what about any other targets you want to do? Well, it should work on multiple targets at a time. Um, you're probably going to want to mess around with his um the movement as well because uh, it may get a little wonky. Like right now, it's it's going backwards while um. Going forwards. That's because his um, control rotation isn't updating. We could probably update that in there, but what I do for a quick fix, just to go back and fix it later, but doesn't matter, is I um, I'm just gonna quickly uh, on based rotation. Um, I quickly break links. And we're going to instead get his camera. And we're going to get the forward vector. You'll probably want to um, swap these out whenever he's aiming and not aiming. Um, that should be an easy setup. You can just switch which vector is being used anyway. <clears throat> now that we got that, it should work a little smoother. And he starts staring at the uh, closest one to him. That's odd. Let's uh, quickly see what's going on here. This this distance may be a little wonky. I'm not sure if it's that. Uh, let me quickly check my other project and see uh, what's going on there. I'm not entirely sure if this is the exact reason why, but we're not going to use this. Instead, we're going to use... Um, well, I don't like two things in a row. Uh, Alright, we're going to actually do get distance to... I'll plug in a reference to self here, and we're just going to add that and see if that maybe changes something seems to be all right yeah you're definitely gonna want to probably mess with interpolation a bit more on some things or possibly uh, do a little bit uh, a little bit of work to make this a bit smoother this like uh, one of the things is you can just add um camera lag should look a tad bit right now it actually looks 10 times worse so you may want to uh, do some rotation interpolation with the camera and whatnot possibly make the camera like look at your target as well so you can actually get a better look at it but uh yeah that's it for this tutorial uh if you want to see more i can i can leave a comment uh that's it see you guys